So, get out your weld tool, very basic weld tool. Um, pretty much all the normal settings. Make sure your force limit is at zero, or you're going to have problems. And we just want to weld it to the base plate. Nice and simple. Okay. Now we need elastics for the um, suspension. Now you, some of the more advanced people out there are watching. You can use hydraulics if you want, if you know how to do that. But I'm going to use elastics for now. Might do another tutorial on more advanced suspensions, like live axle, hydraulic, all that fun stuff. But for now, we're going to use plain old simple elastics. So your constant doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's over a million, and I think you should be fine. Right now, I think this is 10 million or 100 million. Just make sure it's a lot, because eventually you max it out, and we want it maxed out. Um, your damping, um, for this tutorial, I'll just keep it at 2,000, relative damping 2,000. Um, the lower you make it, the springier it's going to be, the more the wheels can move. Um, the higher you make it, the smoother of a ride you get, typically. Um, until a certain point when it becomes really rock hard and you need a lot of weight to, to make it do anything. Um, so really, you know, 2,000 should be a decent value for each of those. And make sure that you have stretch only unchecked. Um, you can pick any flavor. I'm using zero elastic width, um, just so that they don't show because they're kind of ugly where we're going to place them. But you can, you, know, you can turn them on if you want. I'm not going to force you to have them off. Um, so we are going to click in the center of the wheel. And then we're going to zoom out. And on the top of this new plate that we placed, we want to click so that it's you know, perfectly, um, perfectly uh, in line, perfectly adjacent to the wheel. There. Like that. And then we're going to click again and go back down to the opposite road wheel and click in the center. Um, so now we have an elastic, and I know you can't see them. Um, an elastic from this wheel up to the top and on the other side up to the top. Um, then we'll do that for the rear wheels. Up to the top. Click again. Come back down. There. So now all our wheels are constrained so that they will not move too far down or up, and they have an elastic on them. So now we need an advanced ball socket. Um, we need that three-axis lock setting that I talked about earlier, where everything is negative 0.1 or 0.1. And we are going to make the X minimum negative 180, and the X maximum positive 180. So once you have those settings, and make sure that you have free movement and no collide checked, then we're going to click on this side of the road wheel, of the rear road wheel, and then click on this side of the base prop, and do the same for the other side. And now for the front wheels, it's a little different. We have to click on this side, and then on the steering slave. And we'll do that for the other one. Okay, so now, all the road wheels should turn, but the front wheels should turn with the, um, with the steering slave also. So, once you've got all that, get out TB's Duplicator. If you don't have TB's Duplicator, you can use Advanced Duplicator. Since you made everything weigh 50,000, it should work just fine. But I recommend getting TB's Duplicator for these more um, advanced mechanical stuff. Um, and TB's Duplicator can save all sorts of stuff. I mean, it saves engines, it saves most moving parts, it fixes sliders. Um, so it really is a great tool, and it's a little slow, and it has some upload problems, but those will get worked out eventually. Um, so just get TD's Duplicator, it's always a nice add-on. Um, so we get that. Make sure that you are, let's see, we want to paste with constraints, and we want to, uh, let's see, we want to create it at the same angle. We do not want to move the angle around, because we still need it to face the direction that we spawned, or else the ball sockets spawn and they mess up. So, we will just spawn that, just to test it, because we never unfreeze the original. Because if you make a mistake here, then you can always go back and fix it here. But if you unfreeze this, and you try and fix a mistake, it'll be very difficult, and it won't save right, and you'll have a bunch of problems. Always just make a duplicate and test that one. So, before we unfreeze it, we have to set all the weights, because all the weights weigh 50,000. Um, so, we'll just... Let's see, the weights I use, I use um, 150... Oh no, I'm sorry, 125 for each road wheel and the elastic piece, the piece that we attached all our elastics to. So that was 125. Now we use 175 for the steering slave, and the steering slave should always be quite a bit heavier than the road wheels that are attached to it, or else it gets floppy. 
Um, then for the base prop, uh, we can make it 750. Um, you could probably make it up way up to 2,000 without the suspension being really compressed, but 750 should work. So, we'll then freeze all the wheels, make sure that they rotate, and well, these obviously do. Uh, unfreeze this, and then, let's see, oh, we still have the uh, steering sleeve to work with. You know what? I forgot a step. Look at that. I make mistakes too. So, let's go back to the original. And this was a great example because I still have the original completely unfrozen. All I had to do was remove that duplication. Go back to the original, get out your elastic tool, and keep your damping and relative damping um, settings, all those other settings, except you want to change the constant from whatever ungodly amount you set it to, to 10,000. Um, you can set this more to have a stiffer steering, but you're going to need more power for your thrusters, or if you know how to do it, hydraulics, um, to control your steering. So we just want to click on the very side here, to the center, the middle of this prop, the slave, and then we want to click on the other side, and back into the center. So now that has an elastic on it. Okay, now we want to get out our thruster tool, just regular thrusters, or you can use wire thrusters and hook it up with wire, but I'll just use regular thrusters for now. We want, um, effects are up to you, but I suggest none. Sounds are up to you, but again, I suggest none. Uh, thruster force, uh, we'll use 5,000, because any more seems to push the vehicle around in an unrealistic way. Uh, push bound to 4, and pull bound to 6, are the settings I use. You can set those to whatever you want. Um, toggle should be off. You do not want it to collide, and you do not want to activate when damaged. So, we want to place one on this side, and keeping those settings, we want to place it on the other side also. Okay, so that should work. Let's get our, our no collide multi tool. Um, if you do not have this, I recommend getting it just because it saves time. Um, easy precision should have no collided our wheels to the base, so that should be fine. Um, really, Really, we don't even need to use that. Forget I said anything. So get out your TB's duplicator, <coughs> or advanced duplicator if you still want to use that. Um, and spawn a copy. Get out your weight tool. Make the base weight 170, or 750, I'm sorry. Um, make each road wheel and the um, elastic piece weigh 125. There we go. And then make the steering slave weigh 175. They're running out of time. Um, so there. Now, make sure each wheel is unfrozen and it rotates. Good. You'll have, since uh, TV's duplicator unfreezes everything, you have to unfreeze the thrusters also. But that works and it returns to center. That wheel's getting a little wobbly, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. So now you can test out your thrusters. Okay, so they turn the suspension adequately. So you can unfreeze that, and then unfreeze the base, and there you go. Right height is, again, okay. You have uh, steering there. So yeah, this would be good if you wanted to power this with a thruster in the back, or you could use a forcer engine. Um, now, anytime you want to spin the wheels to go forward, you're going to need to up the weight of the the road wheels up the drive wheels. Do not up the weight of the front wheels unless you want to up the weight of the steering slave also. Um, but typically you can just up or up the weight of the back wheels. So we will just make it weigh uh, 250. 250 is fine. So there. Now it still rides the same. It's just those rear wheels now have more grip because they weigh more. Um, another thing you can do is get out your physical properties tool hit gravity toggle, and then we go into the console using the um, squiggly line or the tilde key, which is right next to one. We just press that, and we're on the console, and I'm getting a lot of red text, which I do not like. So we just want to type fizzprop underscore material space cheap tire. We just press return, exit out of the console, and we'll just click on each road wheel. There, now these have an improved grip that is not featured in the physical properties tool for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how you build very basic suspension. 
Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments, um, or you can send me a personal message if you feel so inclined. Um, so, this has been my tutorial on basic suspension, and I hope you use it and learn from it. Thank you very much.